All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises and all glory to Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai Ba Shem Kodash. Double honors to the apostles right. of Great Millstone who rule well and taught us this truth. They are the true teachers for the nation of Israel on earth today. Right. And salutation to the Akim out there pushing this truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth and risking their life for Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai's sake. We're the brothers from GMS Miami. I'm Brother Samak. I'm your brother Zakaria. Yeah, we're going to get into prophecy. We're going to speak on uh, mainly, uh, you know, the upcoming, all right, the inevitable World War Three. Uh, all right, and all you nations that have militaries, you're going to get involved in World War Three. That's right. All right, and this is judgment from the Lord. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so we're going to start with Isaiah uh, chapter 34. All right, and see where the Spirit takes us. Uh, this is Isaiah. It's like it. Mm -hmm. Isaiah chapter 34. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 1, it says, Come near ye nations to hear, and hearken ye people. Right, so the Lord is saying, Come here, ye nations, and hear. All right, hearken. Now, is the Lord physically going to come down and tell you nations to hear or hearken? No, he's going to use his servants, the prophets. Yep. Okay, if you could get uh, Hosea chapter 6, verse 5. Okay. This book of Hosea, chapter 6, verse 5, it says, Therefore, I have hewn them by the prophets. Mm -hmm. I have slain them by the words of my mouth, and thy judgments are as the light that goeth forth. Right, and when you go into the NLT version of that uh, verse, all right, uh, it says, I sent my prophets to cut you to pieces, God. to slaughter you with my words, yep. with judgments as unescapable as light. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, man. All right. So the Lord, all right, set up his servants, the prophets. All right. All right. To tell you nations that you're going into World War Three, And this is the will of the Lord. Yeah. All right. And we're going to use his words. All right. To uh, tell you that's what's going to happen. Yeah. All right. Because this is all done by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Yeah. All right. He put a, a heavy spirit on, all right, his prophets to write down World War Three in the scriptures, man. Yeah. And you can see it, okay, in Isaiah, Jeremiah. All right, different prophets seeing World War Three happen. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got, I got two precepts. Come, for you, bring, it bring it up. This book of Jeremiah, chapter twenty-eight, and verse eight, it says, "The prophets that have been before me, and before thee of old, prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence." So that's what the that's what the prophets always did, man. The ancient prophets and the prophets today, you know, started with our apostle and Elder Millstone. So the scripture said, "The spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets." They talk about war. Mm -hmm. And what is the biggest war that's coming? The war to end all war is coming quickly. As mm -hmm. it says, this real, real quick right here. Mm -hmm. This is um, Revelation chapter 11 and verse 14. It says, The second woe is past, talking about World War II, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. Talking about World War III, man. You see yep. that? You yep. see that? Um, let me get a, uh, another precept. Uh, mm -hmm. This is the book of Mark chapter 16, verse 15. All right? And this is to our people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans who are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. Mm -hmm. All right, the Lord, okay, has set up his prophets to, to warn you of what's to come. All right, World War Three, And that's why you need to repent and seek your power. Mm -hmm. uh, the book of Mark, chapter 16, verse 15. And he said unto them, and these are the disciples, okay, and the disciples are prophets. Yep. Uh, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yep. That's why why the Lord set up the internet. Huh, I was okay, really about to say that. Yep. Okay, mm -hmm. that line. Okay, yep. mm -hmm. um, if you want Psalms to, nineteen. Psalms nineteen. You know, yep. for edification's sake. All right, the the world wide web. All right, because hey, the gospel has to be preached to the whole world. All right, and, and everybody's heard about the Hebrew Israelites because we the especially great Milso because we're the number one camp that goes into prophecy. All right. When it comes to the, the MOTB, yep. and of course, when it comes to World War III. Yep. All right, that's a prophecy that has to come to pass, mm -hmm. man. Or waiting on that digital to be made mandatory. We clearly see this whole financial system has changed. Yep. Fed now is already, all right, uh, um, being uh, pushed out, man. Yep. All right, there's a whole bunch of banks on with Fed now. Mm -hmm. All right, and that's all leading to, okay, a uh, cashless society, man. That's right. All right, and everything's going to be done in real time payments. And then after that, World War Three. Yep. Okay. Once they make it the the uh, excuse me after that they're gonna push the the karagma, all right, make it mandatory. Then it's World War Three. Salakia. Yeah. yeah. 
Okay. It's going down. Mm -hmm. I got that Psalms. This book of mm -hmm. Psalms, chapter 19, in verse 1, it says, The heavens declare the glory of the Most High, mm -hmm. and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Mm -hmm. All right, going into what those those different satellites that the Lord has Esau set up. Mm -hmm. All right. It says, um, verse 2, it says, Day unto day utter speech, and night unto uh, uh, night unto night show it not this because you can go on the internet 24 the internet is open 24 hours if you got if you got access to it you mm -hmm. can go on it 24 hours man mm -hmm. especially here in babylon america man it says verse three it says there is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard because mm -hmm. why you, you we speak in english but someone can put spanish sub subtitles or japanese subtitles right man. and everybody got a phone yep okay access to the internet yeah okay and the lord set it up that way because you could either use this all right, uh, to edify yourself or use it for wickedness. Right. And we see most people use the cell phone for wickedness. TikTok. All right, so you know this whole notion. Oh, I didn't hear. Okay, I don't have uh, 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 internet. BS. Yeah. And again, everything's going cashless. Mm -hmm. All right, everything's going digital. So everyone's gonna, gonna be connected. Have have to, it's gonna have a phone. You're gonna be connected to the internet. Yep. All right. Everybody, lottie dotty. He calls it all. That yep. prophecy has to be fulfilled. Yep. You got it. This is uh, Psalm uh -huh. chapter 19 and verse 3 again. It says, mm -hmm. there is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Verse 4 it says, their line is gone out throughout all, throughout all the earth. So this truth going out throughout our, throughout the whole earth via those uh, satellites, man. Mm -hmm. And their words words to the end of the world and them have he set a tabernacle for the sun. So this true scripture say, have they not heard? That's why the Lord has a prophet set up. So you can hear you niggas that's in these armies. All right, y'all gonna be destroyed. Y'all fighting against the Lord. The Russian military gonna be destroyed. NATO, the EU, all y'all military gonna be destroyed by the Lord when he comes when he, when he returns. Man. That's right. That's you know? right. First, y'all gonna okay, fuck each other up, yep. and then the Lord's gonna come in the midst of it, and then yep. drop all you clowns, man, because yep. that's how the Lord gets down. Mm -hmm. uh, let me get back to the Book of Mark, mm -hmm. uh, uh, chapter again, um, sixteen. Bring that out one more time. I lost my place. Bear me one moment. Okay. Mark chapter 16, verse 15 again. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Right. And the Lord, again, is using his servants, the prophets, to go preach the gospel. All right. And they're using, uh, okay, the technology, yep. the World Wide Web. And this is the Lord's technology. Yep. Just like, okay, the, the nuclear missiles are the Lord's nuclear missiles. Yep. Okay. All right. Also, the the sea hip. That's the Lord. Yep. All right. Technology to see if, if you're gonna not take it. All right. The Lord will see if you're loyal. Right. Uh, Sixteen. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, and that's gonna be the elect. They're gonna believe. All right. They're gonna and they're gonna be saved. Right. But he that believeth not shall be damned. Yep. And that's why. All right. The Lord uh, set up the World Wide Web so that you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans. Okay. All right, wherever you're at, you heard this truth. Whether you believe it or not, yep. you've heard it, and that's that's good. And if you don't believe, that's to your uh, condemnation. Right. You will be judged with nuclear fire because World War Three is still going to happen. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. Um. That's it. We can go back to Isaiah 34. This is because Isaiah chapter 34, verse one again says, "Come near, ye nations, to hear, mm -hmm. and hearken, ye people. Let the earth hear, and all that is therein, mm -hmm. the world." And all things that come forth of it. Verse 2. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations. Mm -hmm. And his fury upon all their armies. He have utterly destroyed them. He have delivered them to the slaughter. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. And we clearly see. All right. The Lord's building up. All right. Setting up the scenario. Building it up. All right. So that he could come in and slaughter these nations. Yep. All, right, all these nations are, are literally in the Middle East. Yep. All right, he's gathering them all there. If you get Zephaniah, yeah, yeah. Yep, uh, three and eight, you yep. know. So yeah, man. Okay, it's coming, and this is the Lord's doing. All right, nobody has free will, because again, the Lord prophesied this was going to happen thousand of years ago, right. and now it's happening, which proves nobody has free will. Yep, it's playing out. Mm -hmm. This book of Zephaniah, chapter three and verse eight. It says, "Therefore wait ye upon me," saith the Lord. Yahweh. Right. Therefore, wait ye upon me. So all you, you Israelites out there that are in that paramilitary mindset, right. got the Draco going out to the gun range, all right? right? You know, saying we got to tap into Esau's blessing, whatever. All right, you, all right, that's madness, man. Yeah. Now, we ain't saying there's nothing wrong with having your own firearm, all right? Well, I don't have a firearm. Yeah, yeah. I don't really care for it, you know? And I was, I was ex-military, right. all right? I don't, I don't give a damn because 
All right, these are my this firearm, yeah. the scriptures. Right. All right, but there's nothing wrong. If you want to farm, great. But to blast it and, and, and go to the gun range and record and all that madness and talk about we're going to tap into Esau's blessing and right. do all this paramilitary uh, madness, you're off because the Lord said, wait ye upon me. Right. You're supposed to be spiritual men. Right. We're spiritual people. Well, all right, we're not carnal. All right, carnal didn't get us anywhere. Right. That's why we're in the condition that we're in. Yep. That's why we're at the bottom. All right, yep. that's why we're catching all this hell yep. because we went carnal, worshiping all these other gods, mm -hmm. all right, that are, are wood and stone. Yeah, right. Okay? And the yep. Lord jacked us up for it. Yep. You guys. There's curses on us. Yep. It says, uh, Zephaniah 3 and, 3 and 8, it says, Therefore wait ye upon me, said the Lord, unto the day that I rise up to the prey, mm -hmm. for my determination is to gather the nations, mm -hmm. that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation. And this, uh, what Isaiah said, the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations, man. Mm -hmm. That's righteous anger. Mm -hmm. All right, our Lord Yahweh, he's coming back with a, a numerable amount of angels, man. She was mm -hmm. talking about Michael the Archangel coming with him. And they're coming with laser beams, man. They're going to zap you people, man. Right. Right in the midst of World War III. Yep. That's why we're looking forward to World War III. Because <coughs> we know it's coming, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It says, it's like it says, uh, for my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured, be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. The Lord said he coming with fire, mm -hmm. and his chariot is like a whirlwind. Our Lord, how shall he's not playing, man? And you, the, the, the Lord's going to judge you armies and you nations because of what y'all did to Israel, man. Mm -hmm. You know what you did to Israel, what you did to the earth. Yep. I mean, come on. Um, I got a quick precept. Yeah. Because it was, Isaiah saw it already happen. Mm -hmm. Isaiah, because he said the, the armies are already destroyed. He saw it, but it's just playing out in these times, like he said. Mm -hmm. But this is, uh, Ezra saw the same thing. This is book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 13, in verse, I'll just get to the point. 2nd uh, Ezra, chapter 13, in verse uh, 8, it says, And after this I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were so afraid, and yet there's fight. Talking about these armies. It says, and lo, as he saw the violence of the most two that came, he neither lifted up his hand, nor held sword, nor any instrument of war. But only I saw that he sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire, and out of his lips a flaming breath, and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests. Talking about them laser beams, man. Mm -hmm. It says, verse 11, and they, sorry, they were all mixed together, the blast of fire and the flaming breath in the tempest and fell with violence upon the Motsu, which were proceeds to fight and burned them up, every one, so that upon the sudden of a innumerable Motsu, nothing was to be perceived, but only dust and the smell of smoke. When I saw this, I was afraid, man. So the Lord showed Ezra's the end time prophecy, just how he showed Isaiah, man. That's right. You know? So not only are you getting hit with nukes, <laughs> You get hit with the laser beams yep. from the chariots, so-called UFOs, which clearly, all right, they do exist because your own government is admitting it, yeah. all right? And now they're coming up with some bullshit lie, like they captured a, a, a spaceship, yeah, which are. is totally a psyop, all right? And that's some BS. That's, again, that those are lying wonders from right. uh, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, right. all right? Yep. You got it, brother. Uh, Isaiah chapter 34 in verse uh, 2 again says, For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations, mm -hmm. and his fury upon all their armies. Mm -hmm. It says, He have utterly destroyed them. He have delivered them to the slaughter. So, right. So, basically, the Lord said, You nations are through. Yep. I already destroyed you. You just gotta, you just got to play it out now. Yep. All right? That's in Isaiah. Yep. Okay? When did that happen? All right. It okay? Happen. It didn't happen yet. This is a future prophecy that's going to happen. That's why we're looking forward to, you know, Everything that's happening, we're looking mm -hmm. forward to these nations getting riled up. We're looking forward to all these nations going to the Middle East, all right? Right. Because we know the Lord's going to come back to destroy them. Right. All right? He said it. He said it. Right. He said, I slaughtered them. Right. And this is in the Old Testament, yeah. so this prophecy got to be fulfilled. Yep. You know, I was listening to uh, Joshua, and the, and the chick, she's like, why do you always listen to the Old Testament? And I was about to tell her, because prophecies in the Old Testament still got to come to pass. But I was like, you know, but... That's why you got to re read the whole roll, man, because mm -hmm. this, this prophecy ain't happening yet, you right. know? The, the Bible's all about <laughs> lamentations, mourning, and woes, mm -hmm. man. And, and and that's a big woe, man. Right. All right? Destruction, man. That's what the Bible's all about. And you got to go into the Old Testament and the New Testament and the Apocrypha, mm -hmm. all right? But the Lord got to be dealing with you. He right. got to be sub with you. And it starts, if you want the Lord to deal with you, it starts by repenting and humbling down and and 
telling yourself that I don't know nothing. Right. I was told lies in my schools and in my churches and by my parents and by my grandparents. I was told BS. All right. And that begins the process of repenting and then turning to your power. All right. And saying, you know what? Let me follow and obey the Lord's commandments. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to build you up. And you could get, you can understand. Oh, yeah. But you got to stop eating pork. You got to right. stop eating shrimp. You got to stop idol worshiping. Mm -hmm. You just participate. A lot of you, Jakes, yeah. participated in 4th of July. Yep. Okay. All the boom and the bang. Yep. All right. You guys, you know, it's crazy because it's like you, you, you get all excited about these boom and the bangs, but then we tell you, hey, hey, Civil War is coming. World War Three is coming. Oh, no, let's not talk about right, it. Right, right, right. Like, hey, man, y'all like explosions. Right, We're just right. telling you the, a great explosion is coming. Big fireworks. Big fireworks <laughs> coming, and it's going to be deadly. Yep. All right? Because if you, you're idol worshiping. Yeah. Okay? But again, you're worshiping these different uh, uh, hot holidays. All right? Then you scoff on the comment board. Yeah. Then you run your mouth saying bullshit. It's just like you don't know nothing. Yeah. You know, you, the bulk of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, you know, to be quite frank, you're fucking retarded. Yep. You're morons. You don't know nothing. Right. Okay? <laughs> you're idiots. And it was pro. It was set up that way. Mm -hmm. All right? By this devil east some eater to teach you bullshit. Yeah. Okay? Our people that say folly is set in great dignity. Everybody these will go on to Instagram, TikTok, just post pictures of themselves and get into that folly. Nobody's serious these days but the prophets, man. Exactly. You know? Mm -hmm. Like Isaiah chapter 34 in verse 3, it says, There's think slot, they're slain, slot, they're slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of their caucuses, mm -hmm. and the mountains shall be melted with their blood. Mm. You know, so that's uh, the ship said he gonna remove far the Removed from the, the northern army to a land buried and desolate, man. Mm -hmm. That's the American military. And then what? He said, your stink shall come up, man. Right. You know? I right. bring out an article. Perfect timing. Uh, this is from Press TV. Uh, came out today, uh, February, uh, excuse me, Friday the 7th, July 2023. I don't know where I got February from. Uh, um, Russian envoy. The U.S. military presence in Syria violates international laws. Okay, so that's an example. Yep. All right, the northern army is in the Middle East, yep. okay? And you got uh, Russia like, what the hell are you doing in Syria, all right? You don't belong here. You're violating, okay, international laws because uh, the U.S. military presence has no United Nations Security Council mandate or official approval from the Syrian government yep. because Syria is part of the United Nations too. Mm -hmm. They're part of that, okay, count, uh, you know, they participate in it. Right. So you didn't get no uh, approval, so that's why Russia's saying that. But again, that fulfills what the brother's saying. Yeah. All right? The Lord will remove you American troops in the Northern Army, all right, for uh, World War III and, of course, for the return of our, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, mm -hmm. right, who the Lord and he calls Jesus to zap you people, man. Yep. Okay, zap you, you military personnel. Right. It's at this point. Anybody who's in the United States military in 2023, <laughs> and if you're a so-called Negro, Latino, and American, you're an idiot. I mean, you're not, you're not really, you don't got it really functioning up here, man. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. You need to seriously reevaluate what, what institution you're participating in. Yep. I got that preset. Uh -huh. This is the book of uh, Joel chapter two and verse 20 says, but I will remove far off from you the Northern army. I talk about American military and will drive him into a land buried in desolate, the Middle East with his face towards the east sea the east sea is the euphrates river man mm -hmm. it says in his hinder part toward the utmost sea that's the red sea and his stink shall come up and his ill savor shall come up because he have done great things so you niggas gonna get y'all 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 bodies gonna be out there man mm -hmm. should say the uh um, the fowls gonna eat you and then they said people gonna have continued employment because they're gonna have to pick up your bodies man that's right you that's know? right that's right <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. so back at isaiah 34 mm -hmm. in verse 4 it says, and all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, mm -hmm. and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll, mm -hmm. and all their hosts shall fall down as a leaf falleth from from falleth off from the vine, and as a falling fig from the fig tree. Man. So not only y'all getting hit with the laser beams, you're also getting hit with them nukes. Yep. Cause that, that's Isaiah describing the nuclear destruction. Yep. All right. Now let's get another article. All right. This is from uh, Stockholm International. Peace Research Institute. It says states invest in nuclear arsenals as geopolitical relations deteriorate. All right, so they did a study. All right, and they gathered a whole bunch of in, uh, um, data 
that are, are showing that all these nuclear superpowers, all right, they mentioned nine, but of course there's more. Right. But I'm, I'm just going to read it right here. The nine nuclear armed states, the United States, Russia, United Kingdom, France, China, India, Pakistan, North Korea, and the JJs. That's how you know World War III is coming, because mm-hmm. the JJs are already have uh, nuclear uh, weapons, right. and Iran's like, nah, fuck that. That's why Iran is gonna. And I believe Iran has their their nuclear weapons. Right. All right. It's just now it has to be revealed. You know, they got to sell it to the the, the media. Mm-hmm. All right. They got the media has to sell it to the people to get them ready for World War III. Mm-hmm. All right. But it says right here, continue to modernize their nuclear arsenals and several deployed new nuclear armed or nuclear capable weapon systems in 2022. So they modernized it, all right? And they've been deploying them, meaning getting them ready to be launched. Yep. All right? That's that's from this institute, yep. okay? And then... Uh, yes. uh, so, like, so they know war is going to come. Yeah. You know, why, they, why, <laughs> right, yeah, right. they already yeah. know. That's yeah. why, again, the elites... All right, the the, the 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 rich and powerful, the ones that have the money, mm-hmm. are building bunkers. Why are they building bunkers? Because they see nuclear war coming. Yep. They see World War Three coming. The doomsday clock. The, yeah, yeah. You know, and then, you know, did y'all forget? Uh, Russia and America do not have no nuclear treaties. All right. Every last nuclear treaty. All right. Is either uh, uh has been uh, removed or. The, 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 or suspended, okay? And Russia suspended the last nuclear treaty, mm-hmm. okay? And now, he cannot suspend it if he wants to, but the way things are going, and, and it just came out that uh, the Biden administration is supplying cluster bombs to uh, the Ukrainian military, according to Moscow, as an act of desperation, proves that, nah, all right? Th- th- there's no treaties coming back, man, all right? All right? And that uh, START treaty... Right now, Russia suspended it. I don't see them unsuspending it, but it ends in um, the final treaty. Let's go. Let's get back to it. It says it. The treaty expires February twenty twenty six. Okay, right. that's if we get there. Right, right. Okay. Let's well, say he's gonna stare at the Medes. He's gonna stare them up. The Medes are the Russians against Babylon. But as of right now, they unsuspended, so there's no nuclear treaties. Right. Okay. Which prove that goes again with the Lord's our uh, prophecies. Yep. All right. They ha- this has to happen, man. Mm-hmm. And the Lord's making it clear because, I mean, what they're doing just proves okay, nuclear war is coming. All yeah. these treaties being uh, okay uh, removed. Right. Right. So it's not like this came out of nowhere. That's why the judgment is going to be so harsh for you people, man. Yep. All right. Because the, it's it's plain and in, in, in your face now. Mm-hmm. All right. Especially to our people. Right. You got it, bro. Yep. Isaiah 34 in verse uh, Isaiah 34 in verse 5 it says for my sword shall be bathed in heaven behold it shall come down upon Idumia mm-hmm. and upon the people of my curse to judgment so these, these uh the Lord also me going to send these missiles all right 200 million nuclear warheads to Babylon the great man uh Idumia is a Greek way of saying Edom and who's Edom is a uh, their their hub is America man mm-hmm. so it's going to go from that it's going from one continent to another and it's going to come down upon all right, uh, America, man. Mm-hmm. And the Lord's going to take down, because uh, Esau, is, he's in his heavens. So the Lord's going to take him down, man. You know? What's that? Uh, if you get that scripture, uh, Ben the Bow, or I'll find it. Jeremiah. Jeremiah, uh, Ben the Bow. Shoot at her. Shoot at her. Spare none. Uh, Jeremiah 15 and 14. Um, uh, yeah. yeah. All ye that bend the bow. Yep, Jeremiah 50 and 40. I'll read right now. Okay, okay. Uh, Put yourselves in array against Babylon round about. Babylon is America, okay? If you don't know that in 2023, you're probably not going to make it. Right. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> if you don't know that, it's, it, we at that point now. Like, if you don't know America's Babylon after <laughs> everything that's happening, all right? You got cocaine in the White House. Right, right. All right? Motherfuckers get, get, get caught with cocaine. And, and they don't know where it came from. They don't know who, who it belongs to. Right. All right? Bullshit. Yep. All right? Got Hunter Biden like this. Oh, yeah. This nigga, he Fuck snuck it. it in. So, you know, look at... He a cokehead. He a cokehead. And a, and a crackhead. And a crackhead, you know? You got uh, uh, LGBTQT lifestyle mm-hmm. being pushed to children. Yep. Okay? Through. All right? This is Babylon, all right? It's confusion. All right? So, Jeremiah 50 and 14, put yourselves in array against Babylon round about. 
all ye that bend the bow, bend the bow, shoot at her, spare no arrows. All right, this is not talking about a bow and arrow. This is actually talking about nuclear missiles. Yep. All right, and the military have a term when they lose a nuclear missile, they can't uh, uh, have, uh, they, they, they can't account for one. All right, they lose uh, accountability of one or two or three. They have a term called broken arrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they actually made a movie called Broken Arrow right. with uh, John Travolta and Christian Slater. It's a pretty cool movie. All right, has some uh, good. Uh, um, uh, music in it like you know the uh, what's it called they have uh like a score yeah yeah i like the score to that uh to that movie yeah. but yeah but the point is they have a movie called broken arrow so let's yeah. talk about the nuclear weapons yep and why is this place going to be okay uh bathed with nuclear weapons all right which is which are the lord's nuclear weapons continuing on with jeremiah 50 and and 14 for she have sinned against the lord mm -hmm. everything we just brought brought out right okay well, america pushes weirdo activity all right push out uh drug use yep okay uh uh, uh disorder among the family got women ruling over men mm -hmm. okay democracy yep. okay uh, uh false history a history lies. full of lies yep. okay motherfuckers sell them, jumping around shooting fireworks not knowing that in 1776, July 4th, if you were Southern Kingdom, you were slaves. Yep. And if you were another kingdom, you were getting your ass handed to you and your land taken. Yeah. Okay? Yep. Not, it should be nothing to celebrate. Right. Okay? For our people. We were being, all right, taken down as a people, man. Mm -hmm. All right? But our people want to hold on to these lies, all right, that America pushes out. Yep. All right? Saying, oh, we got this country, all right? Uh, uh, through hard work and and and, and by the, uh, the 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 bootstraps, you know all that bullshit that they talk about. Yeah. It's all BS. This yeah. place is full of lies, full of wickedness, full of sin. Yep. All right, and and most importantly, it's sinning against the Lord, up against these scriptures. Yep. It it says that the it, it pushed out that the Lord was a so-called white man. Right. That's a that's a that's a, uh, a blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Right. They crucified our Lord. Yeah. You know, x them out. You x them out. You said that you're saying that the people over there and in, 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 in our homeland are the chosen people, which clearly they don't they don't fulfill none of the uh, uh, prophecies right. in terms of who salvation is for, and they're not under the curses. So again, this place America pushes nothing but lies, deceit, fraud, oppression. All right, and ultimately they sin against the Lord daily yep. with the, their acts and their behavior and that and that tongue of theirs. Yep, I you got it. Mm -hmm. Amos nine and eight it says, "Behold." The eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom. The eyes of the Lord represent the angels. The sinful kingdom is America, man. Which this was originally talking about Israel, but America, where they swear on the Bible, which you're not supposed to do. So you're going to have to get judged according to the scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. It says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord power upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord. So the Lord is going to deliver the elect. All right, out of Babylon, out of Israel, I mean, out of um, out of America, which is Babylon the Great, he's going to deliver the elect. The majority of the deliverance is going to come out of here, but the, the elect is scattered. But this place is going to be destroyed, man. Mm -hmm. You know? That's, we'll to, yeah, we'll finish it off. I was about to, I'm about to hit the 30-minute mark. Yeah, come on. Mm -hmm. Just get a couple more verses. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Isaiah 34 and verse 6 says, The sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of of the kidneys of rams for the lord have a sacrifice in basra and a great slaughter in the land of idumia mm -hmm. you know so you people the scripture said there's gonna be a, a big sacrifice you people are the out of those goats and you know those lambs that's gonna be on fire man uh, yeah sacrifice in idumia which is america man yep it says verse seven the unicorn shall come down with them and the bullocks with their bulls and their land shall be soaked with blood and their dust shall be made Fat with fatness, man, mm. going to the destruction. Verse eight says, "For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance, and the year of His of recompense for the controversy of Zion." That's why, man. Again, what we just brought out, man. The, this is the Lord's uh, vengeance. This is the year of His vengeance because of the controversy of Zion. Mm -hmm. All right, because a, hey, we're here in Babylon the Great being oppressed. All right, and um, you Edomites, especially. All right, you're you're not letting you're not. Uh, 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 Lift, you're continuing to oppress us. Right, right. All right. You're not uh, li lifting your foot off our neck, man. Right. All right. And the Lord is highly upset with that. Right. 
and and then you're telling nothing but lies to our people, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you got these clowns again over there, them JJs, the 1948ers, claiming to be us, right. and then saying we're the ones that are uh, anti-Semitic, uh, which you don't even know what that word means right. to say some shit like that. You do, right? Because we Shem ourselves. Yeah, <laughs> Shemetic. Right. Shem had many nations come out of his loins. Right. You morons. All right, read the book of Genesis chapter 10. It's at the point, like, you just need to tell, you know, we're at the point like, yeah, America's about, you're going to be judged, all right? And that's why the Lord set everything up, all right, for uh, ultimate destruction, right. World War Three, and he himself coming to zap y'all with laser beams. Right. You know? Yeah, these people bugged out because um, Ham is a so-called Afghans and Jaffa is his uh, Pacific Islanders. Everybody else is shin. Yeah. <laughs> you goofy. goofy. <laughs> now, this is Isaiah 34 in verse 9. It says, And the streams thereof shall be turned into pitch, mm. and the dust thereof into brimstone, and the land thereof shall become burning pitch. So the Lord's going to destroy this place, man. Mm -hmm. Verse 10, it says, It shall not be quenched day nor night. The smoke thereof shall go up forever. Right. For a long time. And that and that's the same thing. Okay, Isaiah, when you read the book of Isaiah uh, 13, 13 yep. says the same thing. Uh, Revelation, yep. okay, 18, 18 yep. same thing, mm -hmm. okay? This is all the same, the same prop, the same event, all right, uh, uh, told by different prophets, right. okay? Or the same prophet, but they said it differently, but it's the same way, same thing. They saw it, yeah. they saw it yep. okay? Yep. And so this is what we're waiting on, man, mm -hmm. all right? That's why we look forward to World War II. That's why we look forward to, okay... All these, uh, uh, all the momentum, the build up to World War Three, mm -hmm. okay, and of course, uh, Yahweh Shai coming with the chariots, the so called UFOs, the zap, okay, you clowns into dust, man, yep, all right, because you need to be zapped. Yeah. You people are wicked, man, super wicked, <laughs> all right, it's yeah. the shit you talk about, it's irrelevant, all right, through the, sh the every, every all you people, man, yeah, all right, when you talk about your goals, your careers, your aspirations, that shit is bullshit, man, yeah, folly. It's all folly, okay? It's all vain, okay? It's pride, and the Lord's going to break. That's why I get that. We'll close up on that. Okay. Pride go before destruction, destruction, all right? I ain't trying to hear your fucking five-year plan, and, 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 and yeah, well, this is what I'm doing. Uh, um, you know, in five years, I see myself doing this and that. I'm, I'm like, yo. Yeah, you bugged out. Get the fuck away from <laughs> I me. Trying to hear that. I ain't trying to hear none of that shit. Trapping that vibration on yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. I ain't trying to hear that shit. It's, uh, Proverbs 16 and 18 says, Pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. There you go. Yep. Then you people here in America are full of pride, man. All right? And the way you behave, the way you move, all right, is a, is a, is a, a, a prime example, okay, of why the Lord, all right, is going to judge you for your pride, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? You can't, you can't, you know, these people don't know shit in America. Yeah. And they act, they trying to tell us something, man. Yeah, they don't even know. They don't know nothing, man. You know? They just know how to fucking turk and yeah. be a demon and roll blunts and do coke and shit, man. They yep. bugged out. Like, like, <laughs> your, your own, your own, your own, your, like, real quick, I did a lesson on this yesterday, but it's good to bring it back. All right? This is another reason why you're not going to win World War Three. All right? Your own, your own fucking military oh, is, shit. is broken. Okay? You got U.S. military veterans telling their family members not to enlist, and then you got current military, okay, troops in the military telling their family members, "Don't join the military." So how the fuck are you gonna defend yourself? You know, yep. again, you Americans don't know shit, man. Why them other countries? They get like a million recruits, right? You know, you know them niggas. They ready to die for their country. Yeah. All right, yeah. that goes to show you, man. Okay, America's on its way out. Right, and the Lord is that's the Lord doing it, He's bringing this place down because of its pride. Pride goeth before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. Man, you know, your arrogancy, America. The Lord is, is calling you out on it, mm -hmm. and it's proof that all right, you're, you're arrogant for no reason. Right. All right, you're a fucking third world country with a Gucci belt, <laughs> stupid motherfuckers. <laughs> anyway, you got it, bro. God. So, with that, you know, you want to close out. Yeah, yeah, okay, we good, we good. So with that, you know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, we want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kakradash. All right, I want to give double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruwell. I want to give up peace, greetings, and salutations to all the like Akim that's pushing his word in truth and sincerity. A hey, Shalom. Shalom. Baba Ball. Baba Ball. Shalom. shalom.